All right, so in this video, we're going to be going over another cylindrical shell problem. All right, this one's going to be kind of like the, the hardest problem that you're going to see um, that's not going to be involving uh, trig. And uh, here it is. So find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the line about the line y equals 2, the region bounded by x equals 2y squared, y, e y is greater than or equal to 0, and x equals 2. Okay, so here's why I see this problem as hard. First off, you're graphing something that, and of course this isn't too hard to graph the x equals 2y squared, but you're graphing something that's not in terms of y. You're graphing something, you have an inequality here, so you got to figure out what that means. In this case, it's not too hard, but you still have to figure out an inequality. Of course, you're not rotating around an, a y-axis or an x-axis, um, so you kind of have a bit of everything here, okay? Kind of like as, as hard as somebody can make it. So let's draw our graph here. We have, we know that, um, we are, sorry, actually, let's start off here. X equals 2y squared. That's going to look something like this. All right, it's just going to be a parabola that opens sideways, all right? And we know that y is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, what's that mean? Well, that means that y is not going to be negative. So we can just forget about everything below the x-axis. Okay, we also have x equals 2, all right? And that's going to be this right here. So now we have... We have our x equals 2, we have our x equals 2y squared, we're revolving around y equals 2. Now I don't know where that line's going to be because I don't know where x equals 2y squared is meeting up with x equals 2, okay? And a great way to just figure, what, figure out what that's going to be, we're just going to set these guys equal to each other and figure out what our y value is going to be. So uh, we both, we have x equals and x equals. So we set uh, them equal to each other. We have two y squared equals two divided by two gives us y squared equals one and take the square root of both sides, y equals plus or minus one. Okay, in this case, we're not dealing with the negative case because y has to be a positive number because of this inequality here. So y equals one. Okay, so this is happening at y equals 1, so we know that y equals 2 is going to be somewhere up here. Alright, that's our axis of rotation, okay, and that's good to know. So, now what is our region? Okay, well our region is going to be this right here, right? That's bounded by everything that you see here. And now we have to rotate that region around y equals 2, which is, I'll label that right up here, y equals 2. So, what's our equation? Volume is equal to the integral, 2 pi, we'll, we'll start off with our circumference there. We need to figure out our bounds, all right? Well, since we are re revolving this region around a horizontal line, okay, we know we're gonna be integrating with respect to y, okay? So, what are the y coordinates, um, what, what are the min and max y coordinates of my region? Well. This, of course, is going to be the min, which is at y equals 0. And then, this top here, we just found that to be 1. So we already know our bounds are going to be from 0 to 1. Okay? And what is my radius going to be now? Well, my radius, all right, well, that is going to be the distance from our axis of rotation to our graph. I'll actually, I'll draw it over, let me draw it over here. We want to find that distance right there. Well, we know that the distance from the graph to the x-axis is going to be y, right? And in that case, uh, y is going to be equal to uh, rad x over 2 when you solve that. And you may be wondering, okay, well, now we need to uh, solve for y, right? Because we need this in terms of x. Well, actually, we need it in terms of y because, like I said, we're integrating with respect to y. So we can just leave that as y. Now the last thing we need to do is come up with this whole distance right here because we want to do this whole distance minus y. And that whole distance is 2. So we have 2 minus y is going to give us that red line. So 2 minus y. Now what is our height going to be? Okay, well, what is our height? Uh, our height is going to be 
the distance from, let me erase this piece right here, our height, we're talking about the distance from here to here, okay? And we know that the distance from here to here is x. And that the distance from the x equals 2 line to the y-axis is 2. So now we have a 2 minus x. Well, what is x going to be? Well, x is 2y squared. So we have a 2 minus 2y squared, and we have a dy. All right, great. So now we can do our uh, foiling out here and get our big equation. Uh, 2 times 2 is 4. We get a minus 2y. We're going to get a minus 4y squared and a plus 2y cubed dy volume is going to equal 2 pi we'll pull that 2 pi right out uh, we can just integrate already we're going to get a 4y minus uh, that's going to be y squared minus that is going to be a 4y cubed over 3 plus a it's going to be a y to the fourth over four. So that over four is going to cancel out with the two to make y to the fourth over two. And that's going to be evaluated from zero to one. Now it actually works out really nice, which is, you know, funny considering that this is actually a hard problem, but it's hard for the calc two, not the calc one. Okay. Um, the calc one is just, you know, an in integral. You should be able to do all of these. Uh, the zero term is going to cancel everything out inside, so we're just left with this one. That's going to be volume is equal to 2 pi times when we substitute in a 1 here, we're going to get 4 minus 1 minus 4 thirds plus 1 half. Okay, so we'll simplify that a little bit. It's going to be 2 pi times a 3 minus 4 thirds plus 1 half. All right. Uh, lowest common denominator here is going to be 6, so volume equals 2 pi times a 18 over 6 minus 8 over 6 plus 3 over 6, and we're going to get 13 over 6 there. So 2 pi times 13 over 6, and we're going to get a 26 pi over 6. All right, and we can simplify that by dividing by two halves to get 13 pi over three. All right, so I know I go through this algebra stuff pretty quick, but that's because your main focus should be on this calc two stuff. And honestly, I don't need to help you with any of that. You, you, you're gonna be able to do that um, by yourself pretty easily. Okay, so the calc two here was just in this part right here okay if you can do that then you're golden because the rest is just calc one so i'll see you guys in the next video